welcome to St. James in the City, where we are continuing our celebration of the 25th anniversary of our 1911 Murray Harris organ. I'm Jim Bodamani, the organist here at St. James since 1995, which was the same year that this organ was installed here in this lovely building. In my previous episodes, I introduced three individuals whose efforts not only saved this organ from destruction, but were instrumental in bringing it here to St. James Church. And today, I'd like to share with you the three builders who were entrusted to carry out its reconstruction. And while I'm doing that, I'll share some photos from that exciting time. The original company engaged to tackle this project was the Schlicker Organ Company, of Buffalo, New York. As the project unfolded from the mid-1980s, it became clear that this was not some ordinary project. Many complications resulted in all sorts of delays, and the untimely death of Schlicker's artistic director, David Dixon, resulted in the project being completely halted for several years. It was revived, however, in 1993, when the Austin Organ Company of Hartford, Connecticut was brought on board. By that time, Schlicker had completed much of the mechanical work, including the beautiful Gothic cases that you see on either side of the chancel, as well as the three manual console that the player uses to control the organ. Austin's responsibility, therefore, was to complete all of the tonal work on the organ, and that involved cleaning and restoring all of the 1911 pipework, as well as creating new pipes to match the original. This was accomplished in close collaboration with our third builder, Los Angeles' own Manuel Rosales. He I introduced to you in my previous video as one of the key players in saving this instrument in the very first place. It all came together in 1995, when men from each of these companies completed the installation here at St. James in November of that year. The organ was blessed with a service of solemn Eucharist on All Saints Day, followed with a grand recital played by Australian organist David Drury. I'll have more to tell you about this marvelous instrument in my coming episodes, but now I'd like to play for you one of my favorite French pieces from a century earlier, the second movement of Charles-Marie Vidor's Ninth Symphony, also known as the Gothic Symphony. Marked Andante Sostenuto, this movement has become one of Vidor's most beloved, and although it is perhaps not quite as famous as his Toccata from the Fifth Symphony, I find it to be a masterpiece of great beauty and supreme artistry. Written around 1895, only about 15 years before our Murray Harris organ was originally built, this romantic piece showcases the lush strings, round flutes, and buttery diapasons of the French romantic organ. These sounds are also a hallmark of Murray Harris's own rich tonal palette and I hope you will enjoy savoring them as you listen to Vidor's Andante Sustenuto from his Gothic Symphony. <laughs> 